super early in the morning <laughs> um, and Kira's still in bed. I'm heading to the airport, I'm heading to Disneyland Paris. I'm heading on a kind of part solo trip. I'm going to the airport now on my own, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit nervous. I've not flown that often on my own so I'm like hoping everything goes okay. Um, but yeah, I'm off to Disneyland Paris for just the one night and I'm heading there for the Pride event. I can't wait. So yeah, Disneyland Paris are doing like an exclusive uh, extra ticketed event for Pride. They do it every year and well, I think every year. It's been going for a few years now. I um, haven't looked too much into it. I know obviously there's live performances and there's like, it's almost like a festival. Um, lots going on, lots of extra merch, snacks, parade, character meet and greets. Like, there's a whole like night for this event, but I've not really looked too much into it. Now I'm heading there with my really good friend Matt, Mr. Disney Couture. Um, he's got a YouTube channel here, he'll be vlogging as well. I'm meeting Matt um, there and yeah, I just, I can't wait. So it's gonna be me and Matt's first Disney park together. We're gonna do all like the rides and like the, in the daytime, Disneyland Park and then the event tonight. But yeah, Matt's kind of like organized everything. It's weird for me for not to know like where, I know where we're staying, but I've like not, been the one organising everything. I'm usually the one doing all like, the planning and booking everything, but bless him, Matt's like done all of that, sorted everything out. I'm just kind of getting on the flight and going for this like last minute trip. I just thought, why not? But yeah, I just thought like, why not? Let's go. I'm not going to any festivals this year. This is like my festival of the year. I was just like, I need to go. I need to see this event. It looks amazing. Let's just go. It's like an hour flight and yeah it'll be it'll be so much fun can't wait to show you guys everything i've never really watched a lot of like pride vlogs um obviously never been so it'll be all like my first reaction and obviously disneyland paris is always fun to watch but um, yeah i'm heading off to the airport now i'm gonna drive there and park and hopefully everything goes smoothly i'll try and vlog as much as i can if not you'll see me disneyland paris and uh yeah Come along with me to Pride at the Slam Paris. Right, I've made it to the airport. Parked a little bit then because there was no um, car park spaces. Then I turned the corner on level seven and there was loads. Um, I parked at the multi-storey at Terminal 1. I think it was about £60 to park here. Um, it was, uh, yeah, cheaper than taxi anyway to do the one night and it just automatically like registered my um license plate so just came in like that that was easy enough so yeah not a bad little drive to the airport now i need to go obviously uh go through security and all of that and then i'm gonna go get a starbucks i need some coffee and something to eat and then just chill i've got about two hours till the flight uh fly with easyjet into charles de gaulle and then i'm hoping to get the 10 minute train from charles de gaulle um I'm going into a different terminal than I did last time and the passport control last time was crazy in the airport um, so we'll see if I make it because if not I've got to then find the trains like not till another like till like three o'clock there's one at one o'clock and one at three o'clock and I need to get to Disney so um yeah but I'm gonna head to the yeah to the terminal terminal one and just find myself a little spot with some coffee once I got through security. So yes, should be in Paris very soon. Absolute sweaty mess. I have to run for the train again, but I'm here. I'm gonna go meet Matt and Ray uh, near studios. Oh my God, I can't breathe. But we're here handheld fan with me which is much needed. I've got a little bit of a breeze here which is good. It's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hotter about four o'clock so. Oh my god I can't believe I actually just made that train. I my feet were gonna fall off <laughs> running through this running through the airport. Always the way. How am I here again? <laughs> oh my god. Matt, wherever he is. I can't get past. 
I've not got my ticket yet because he's got it, so it's both. However, I uh, have to wait around here and hopefully he'll spot me and let me in. Ah! He stuck up on me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How are you? Sweating. <laughs> the sweatiest head, sweatiest top lip oh my god. ever. It is so. And there's a little bit of breeze that I was like, ooh, and then, oh my god, the run into the train. It is so clammy and hot today. <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, the clouds are gone. Like the clouds are here, but it no. feels oh. hotter today. I've not even got a look. Bad. I'm not even processing that I'm here. I was like, I am I was so, literally here yesterday. I literally am so glad you made this bloody oh train. Oh my god. Oh, well, can I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, can I care? The, uh, the next, um, what do you call it, match for short was like 1 30. I was like, oh, we'll get that to like 2. And then I was like, freaking hell. But literally, it made, and, and it doesn't like, the train was like the other side. Like, you go down to the level, I had to ask everyone on the way. The trains, oh, no. I was actually stood there like, When's the train gonna get in? It's, it's there already. So I was like, oh my god. Oh my like, god. Ten minutes if. here. Like, but then there was only the next train was like three o'clock. But I'm here. But you're here, and that's the main thing. We might be sweating. <laughs> gay, gay, it gay might be so hot. The gay gods have <laughs> we, been we on prayed, our we side. Prayed we them. prayed all this morning for these <laughs> gay oh gods. God. Oh. Right, we're gonna catch up. See what, what we're doing. What we're doing. What we've been doing. Today. Right. So we're we're in studios now we've literally only been here for like 45 minutes so oh. <laughs> we're in studios raising a queue for to meet woody okay um but we've just got um well a, a premier access for um crush so maybe we head to crush oh my god <laughs> what a good first ride i know yeah that's gonna wake me up for sure i mean why not why the hell Ooh. not <laughs> ah! oh my god i can't believe it First, like Disney time. I know, I can't wait. Oh my god, panic! Oh my god, the stress! The stress! <laughs> the panic! Oh my god, the pure panic. My ticket over here. Oh my god, I need a drink. We're heading on crushes. I've got my massive bag with me still from the airport, but we'll see how we go. But this ride's gonna be hilarious. Making our way to Disneyland Park. I've literally got today at the parks. So, doing a couple of rides in here. Matt, you want to watch the parade, don't you? I do indeed. Because that's the last time we'll see it, wasn't it? Oh my god, it is, and I love this parade. Yeah. Is it dream shine bright? I'm ready for the ride. <laughs> I'm ready so. to ignite your <laughs> And then I'm gonna super request a ride on Phantom Manor and take some pictures by the castle but I want to have a little look at the mini flowers down here they're all pride colours yeah they've changed all the um, changes out for like Halloween and everything but they've done um, like pride colours and rainbow colours for Mickey at the front here such a cool entrance always say it's probably my favourite entrance to a Disney park Love it! 2.55 It's not like we've been going down a reservation for that. You're good! Yay! <laughs> and water. And water. I'm thinking we're going to shut off the entrance bit here. Oh, like blocked oh, it no. this bit. You can still go through it, yeah. Yeah, it's all good. I feel like I'm holding this still. <laughs> Yay! We're in Disneyland Park! because it's so warm I keep thinking I'm in Florida and I can't get in my brain how I was at my house at 6am this morning or at the airport at 6am and now I'm here because <laughs> it literally feels like Florida it's so warm but we're just uh, walking on Main Street about to see the castle Matt's walking in front of me but I'm like yay so good to be back Plan meeting Jeannie. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> 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 
gonna do first big thumbs up, yeah, reservation. Yeah. That castle was lovely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Ray, I've not introduced you to the vlog. <laughs> um, me and Ray did the CRP, not well together, but on the same program, not seen each other in 12 years. It's like a, mm -hmm. it's a running theme, like 14 years, 12 yeah. years. That you know, true. Disney have brought everyone together, but yeah, it's such a small world. Like, Ray is one of Matt's best friends, and yeah, we knew each other from the program. It's just like weird, like, such a small world. But, um, yeah, Look, we've got Disney bringing yeah. everyone back together. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> Cheers, Mickey. Um, yeah, so we're heading to Phantom Manor, I think. Whoop, whoop, yeah, whoop, whoop. my favourite, and we've got a return time for. Thunder Mountain with the Dad's Pass. Yes. Which is really cool and we'll be able to do that. And, and then, then Dream and Shine Bright Eye. Yes, gotta see that. Last time seeing that. Ready for the ride. Yay. Oh god. Yeah, I just I've been literally just staying on Phantom Manor all day. Hopefully it's cold inside there. There's a little bit of a breeze, but you can see my shiny, my shiny head. <laughs> and then we've got our Pim Kitchen reservation. I can't wait to go back there. Gonna get lots of food in us, ready for tonight, which is gonna be like party and drinks and all of that. Very exciting. Getting lots in on my like 24 hours in Paris. Won't be a Disneyland Paris trip I'll going on this one, would it? Now Matt, do you prefer this one or Haunted Mansion? I prefer Phantom Manor. Yeah, me too. Ray, do you like Haunted Mansion or are you a fan of Haunted Mansion? I love Haunted Mansion, but I have to be honest, I'm not sure I can massively tell the difference. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Yes, I know. I mean, can't really tell the difference of the Disneyland one. This year I'm going to Disneyland California and that's going to have the night before Christmas overlay on it, so oh I'm excited about amazing. that. But this one mm -hmm. is just a little bit better. I don't know, I just feel like they got the phantom in it and the bride and it's just like a little bit more extra so it's my fave but it feels uh, it's usually halloween when i'm here so it feels really weird and hot so Thunder Mountain for our return time and then we're going to the fair uh, watch the show if we can make it across and then it'll be time for the food and maybe another drink Yay! Thunder Mountain time I think so do you reckon we can do it? what time is it? I think I should do it <laughs> are we going to risk it? Change loads. We decided to leave Big Thunder and head straight to our reservation um, to Pim Kitchen to want to get that done. And it's really hard to get any more times for that, so yeah, we're heading to there. And then we'll pop it back in this park in a little bit. Here we go, Pim Kitchen. Highly, highly recommend this place. Me and Kieran came here last time if you've seen those vlogs. It's not like a meat buffet, you get giant pretzel. I'm just, I just need drink. <laughs> I'm so, I just need a water. Yeah. And then Ray's just gonna got us a turn for Spider Man over there. 
said it was going to be like 30 from four o'clock not said rain but it needs to come back <laughs> are you getting the hat as well yeah i love it i didn't realize the um the barber shop was you could see it from here dapper dan's haircuts it's so cool in here lots of like hotels I guess and apartments. What area is this? Val well, Europe area ish. It's it's on it's like the outskirts. Right. Is this Siri Siris? Siri <laughs> Siris? Don't know. Not That's a clue. Cute, though. And so that was the door then. Sorry for being so wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it poured down as you saw in the last clip. So but it stopped now so it should be good for the rest of the night. Right, it is a lot later. Um, I can't remember where we oh we went to Pim's Kitchen. Uh Pim Kitchen for dinner, lunch, uh so full, so good as always. And we hi yes. Um we are ready for Pride. The event starts at eight. We went back into Magic Kingdom just to get um some merch. I think I showed that as well actually. Yeah, that's probably the last thing I've booked. <laughs> um but yeah, we are ready for Pride. Not your pride ears, these were off Shop Disney. I think they were last year's ears, like the ear hat, but they were cute. Um, we are, yeah, we freshened up at the hotel. Um, I've not really done a room tour, maybe I'll do that tomorrow and you'll see that vlog. I'm gonna kind of do it all at one. Um, I've not done a room tour yet, but we just got in and crashed. He's ready! We are ready for pride! <gasps> oh! Doing it, New Jersey! New Spirit Jersey, of course, yes. if you know me you know that i love a spirit oh yeah it's so good um so yeah we're gonna get a uber down to Disneyland paris now and start the party so yeah this is where it all begins we'll show you all, everything's going on at pride and yeah it's all new to me so let's see what the night entails but I've a little bit of prosecco out of the coffee cup as you do feeling so extra and i'm <laughs> 
I'm loving it. I forgot I can't swear in my own vlog. You can't because it's pride. <laughs> Yay! I'm loving it. Yeah, we're heading in now. Uh, gonna catch the parade. We've missed the opening ceremony thing, but we will show you lots of content from Pride for sure. Look at the floor. I am ready to dance tonight. we're going to go on, you know, join Disney Pride yes. and yeah. So good. We might even go on it later, like at 1am 1, 1 or something. So yeah, head on that now. Always a good one. Okay. okay. I will see you. I will see you. I will see you. I'm liking this uh, t-shirt. I used to have one of these ages ago, and I've got one of these as well because you've got to have one of these. Some of the uh, vintage collection. It was so good. We were all in the back row. There's a big group of us now, and it's so. Oh, so funny. That one's slightly different to the one in um, in Orlando. You don't kind of move forward. It, it changes all the time. As like a creepy girl, you don't really know what routine or what like um, thing you're gonna get. Like how it goes up and down. So it's so good. I had the fan out like. <laughs> Brilliant. So yeah. That was really so good with like group friends. So. Let's go for reggaeton, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got that booty back. Oh my God, can't I get the vape? The vape. <laughs> 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 you are in life like Spider-Man, and our host today has created his own real-time translation device to help you better enjoy the presentation. We hope you all have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. Nous vous souhaitons une excellente visite durant cette journée portes ouvertes de la Web Engineering Brigade. Et voici notre chef de projet, Oh, Peter Parker. 
Comment ça va, Jupiter Parker Ici, chez Web, on a accès à une super technologie, comme le vibranium du Wakanda ou ce fluide extraterrestre dément. On a les particules de... Le nouveau véhicule Slinger. Grâce à son processeur, vous lancerez vos propres toiles d'araignée, comme mon pote Spider-Man. Euh, Peter, ta présentation est en train de t'échapper. Oui, j'ai remarqué ça, chérie, et je te serai reconnaissant de lancer immédiatement les protocoles. Peter, il y a un petit problème. Bon, enfin, si vous voulez lancer une toile, c'est simple comme bonjour. Vous tendez juste les bras dans la direction que vous voulez, et le tour est joué, c'est cool. Euh, Peter, tout ce qu'il doit continuer de se réfugier et les voir tout ce qu'ils trouvent sur leur passage. Ils ont l'air bloqués en mode auto-réplication. Tu pourrais essayer de gérer ça. Ah, So they might not even do the pre-show, I don't know. But uh, this is always a good good coaster to go on. He's here! Finally! <laughs> not going to Oh my god. Yeah, every time I've been on this, he's not been here. So. I'm also so happy. <laughs> Just got a little pride cupcake. This was five euro, which is it's tiny. <laughs> what? The campaign influencer right now. You're like, Instagram oh yeah, there. no. Has what? to have its moment. She's, five five she's euro pay for this, so it's Most getting its time. Oh, really? yeah. so iconic. <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> 
Do you want this Marfa? Do you want this Marfa one? Which one? Do you want these balls? Do they have like a particular flavor? I'm not gonna have that. They might have kiwi though. Is that kiwi? Let me let me see. Oh my god, I can't. <gasps> Is it so strong? Oh my god. I'm not even gonna even, don't pre taste it. I'm gonna go for the kiwi. Guys. I mean, cheers now. Come on. Who are you? Oh my god. Go on, you do it first. You first do it. Oh. Wait, man, man, nothing's coming out. <laughs> okay, having this questionable shot. Are they strong? It is so Can strong. Can you hold my beer for me, sir? Who's drinking now? Are we good? Yeah, I will do one. We'll do one. Cheers. Woo. 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 Oh. 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 I don't know, these guys have them. I, I, you gotta share this one. Yeah, go back. Go for the red. Are we doing it? Good one. Mine wasn't too bad, it was like tropical flavour. What was that? Oh my god, it's tequila! Oh. <laughs> Stage. Done our sea. That was so funny. Ah. I love, I love it that night though. Like it's, it's all this area is so cute, cute at night. So much better at night than when <laughs> no one is around. Yes, it's so. The nice. queues are yeah non-existent. Just call me stomach. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we're gonna have a little walk through here now. It's so pretty. The lights. Maybe do the parachute one. I'm just loving the fact that oh, it goes again. Iconic on the uh... on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. I took a video of you crawling. I mean, that carpet was really cool. I mean, I mean I'm so glad that Laws <laughs> is, you know, capturing all these moments because you are not. I can't. <laughs> 
Oh my god, okay. So we will do a roundup of Pride and everything later. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> oh my god, I do look a bit rough, a bit sensitive this morning. What a <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Is it raining? Oh, it's nice. It's like raining, it's cool out here. Oh, the sorry. room was super, super warm. Um, but it was a good night. It was yeah. such a great night. Yeah. And I loved it. We didn't get back to that. We go back to three or something, but right. it was it was so good as you saw. But yeah, we're finishing off the vlog today. Uh, we're heading to Disney Village. I've got a little bit of time to kill and get the train back about two. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you where we were staying in Eklo. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It's been good, except for the no aircon. Like that was needed last night. But yeah, but it's in really terms good. of space, yeah, really it was good. Actually really and price. Spacious and, price, and it was like. Uh, 10 to 15 euro for an uber from here to the park so between yep. like a few of you it's nothing is it um right i'll show you the room really quick so we've got like two we're in a family room we've got two windows here and this has um like a blackout blind as well <laughs> you can show it's all neat <laughs> you got that oh okay so you've got your tv there this cool wall picture we had a double bed and a little storage desk area and like a little like um den for bunk beds got little curtains over as well so yeah very comfy like loads of space loads loads of plugs usb outlets on the side there yes very good i need to get back outside because it's boiling but yeah, great, great little stay. Did the job. I can't <laughs> believe it's so bad. Oh no! Right, <laughs> I am back from Pride. It's been about a week now. Yeah, it's been a week since it was there. It feels like a million years ago. Oh my god, it was so good. I'm still recovering. Uh, I think I ended the vlog doing a bit of like a room tour. And sorry, I can hear my car. Anyway, yeah, I ended the vlog doing a bit of a room tour at um, Eklo and from then on we went to the Disney Village and had a sandwich because we were all starving and then it's kind of a bit of a rush then. Um, Matt and Ray were getting the train to Paris and then getting the Eurostar. I was getting the train back to um, Charles de Gaulle Airport. Yeah, so they left um, about an hour before me and I was like, I'll just kill some time. I went and sat by the uh, entrance, like kind of a bit further up to the uh, like the Disneyland Hotel and the entrance there. Had like half an hour there, just chilled. And then I went and got a Starbucks, had a coffee in the train station um, at the Mon in the Valley, like the Disneyland Paris train station. And then I had the, um, the train that's 10 minutes then to get to the airport. So my flight wasn't until about half five, but the train was kind of half two, get you in at quarter to three, or then it was like kind of four o'clock it'd go, it was like a quarter to four one. So I was like, I'll just get to the airport, I'll have some time to kill, but wasn't particularly hungry because I've had food, but I was like, I'll just get to the airport so I know I'm there. I do find the trains really easy. They're a bit kind of random at the times. So I feel like there's loads every like 20 minutes and then there's like none for hours. Uh, as you saw previously in the vlog, I didn't think I was going to make that train from the um, from the plane because it was an hour delayed on the tarmac before we could go. So I was cutting it fine and literally got there with like five minutes to spare. And then it's only a 10 minute train then, so it's really good for that. But it's, uh, it was just like a rush, but it was all good. Uh, solo traveling wasn't that bad. I knew where I was going. The train is really easy, uh, really well signed. There's people or everywhere around over the train station. Um, you're looking for like the in wee like signs for the train. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to get that. But got on the train, got to the airport, went through security really quick. If anyone's watched my last vlog, when we went to Disneyland Paris with Kieran, we went from Manchester to Charles de Gaulle with Air France, and you come to a different terminal. With EasyJet, you go, I could, yeah, say a different terminal. It was a lot easier. <laughs> As I say, no pun intended, but it's felt so much easier. Out of the two, like, travelling with the airlines, um, it felt easy to get through, like, passport control and um, security and that kind of thing. So that part was easier, but still delayed. 
So I went through security, went through then, then you've got like a little bit more of like a, an area of food, shop, Starbucks, it's like a you know, sushi in there as well. I kind of thought, no, I'll just, just trek on, I'll get to my gate. And I know there's not much in that area. It's like, um, you've got like a prayer and you've got like a, like a shop that sells like water and newspapers and things like that, sweets and things. So I was like, I'll just crack on, get to my gate. And I, and then you go through security, you go through passport control. Um, and then you'll kind of the other side onto your gate then. So get to the gate, I said, I've got about an hour and a half there to kill. So I was like, I'll just keep hydrated, I'll just chill for a bit there. And it got to about quarter to five and I was like, well, we should be getting the, the gate now. So I'll look at the, um, the screens and it said delayed till 7.40 p.m. I was like, oh, okay, great. So then I looked on the app and it had said delayed, like expected to get it back into Manchester at 7.40. Told me to go to another uh, gate. So I was like, right, I'll find that. It was actually underneath the gate I was at. And then that gate was a really small uh, gate full of people. I think it had three flights there that were delayed. There was definitely a London Gatwick one there and the Manchester one, I think another one. And then that one had the buses. So the buses come to the uh, t uh, the gates, pick you up to take to the plane. It's like, right, okay. Sat down, I thought, I'm not gonna <laughs> manage to get a seat because it was so busy. And I just sat there for about two hours kind of was on the phone, didn't want to move, I wasn't particularly hungry, didn't want to get anything. I thought any minute now, if I move, they're going to change the gate, they're going to change the time. Don't know, I just kind of got into a bit of a, not a panic mode, just a bit like, right, I'm just going to stay here. And everyone was waiting, they weren't kind of updating, so we were like, what are we doing? They got the London flight on the buses and then they brought them back. So that was something because of the weather. So everything was backed up because there's just like, so obviously like staffing strikes and t like um queues to get on the terminal uh, not the terminal like the the runways and stuff so it was all that going on but i just kind of sat there and sat there and then it changed to arriving in manchester at 10 p.m i was like oh i can't <laughs> three hours or something it's like what is going on but then it still said to board soon so like right what is going on and then luckily i think I think I got, I think it was about quarter to eight. They said, right, we're, we're now putting Manchester on the plane. So <laughs> got on the plane, that took a long time. Still waited a little bit on the plane. I think I got back into Manchester at about 9.30. I was supposed to get in at 5.30. So yeah, it was like, I never, ever, ever delayed on the planes, never. Like it always happens, like it is a thing, you know, I've had it for going to Orlando before, like really bad, like losing a day of the holiday, or whatever. It's just kind of when you're on your own, it's a little bit more like, oh, right, okay. And you don't know what's going on. And I was like, I just want to get home. I was so tired. Like obviously we had a late night and holiday sleep was boiling, blah, 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 moan, moan, moan. But you know, I was like, right, I just, uh, just want to get home. But yeah, eventually got home and yeah, would have would do it all again, absolutely. But it's just one of those things, and it's still still got home in time. It's still really quick. Like, so lucky to be able just to get on that plane and get to Disneyland Paris within like a, like an hour from where I live, and you know get to get to experience it just for the night. It was just it was great. So I'm so glad I did it. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like drive off the airport, but all good. And it was such a fun event, like. We probably missed quite a lot of the event. Like looking back on things, there was like characters. We weren't all kind of keen on doing the characters anyway, but there was kind of other little areas to look at. So we definitely didn't get our like monies of the pride part of it, but we all had a great time. We just loved dancing about, having a few drinks, um, getting on the rides all together. Me, I was like happy to meet new people who were there, like kind of friends of friends and stuff and just kind of just all have a laugh. It, it felt like amazing like it just felt just part of a whole like family and community it's it really weird it just felt like everyone's there to have a good time you know you just you just like having a laugh like I particularly didn't drink too much because it wasn't like it, it, it didn't really have a lot of the stuff that I like to drink I had a few shots I had like one beer but it was just like the atmosphere just got you in a good mood and got you like dancing and celebrating and I, I yeah I loved it I definitely would do it again and rounded up loads of people to do it next year with us uh, again because it would be great to go with a big group and yeah it was just it was just like a lot, a lot a lot of fun and I would totally totally recommend to go um I loved doing like the after hours kind of aspect and I'd love to look into different like after hours at Disney World um even though you get to see those parks at night and stuff but it's just you feel like you've got a bit of a park to yourself and yeah it was it was a lot of fun 
thank you so much to Matt and Ray for like letting me tag along with the little trip and it was so much fun with you guys like I wish we had longer in Disneyland and we had like an another day and me and Matt keep saying right next year we'll have four days there <laughs> and we'll do this and we'll do that um, but we rushed around too much but I'm so glad we did it it was such such good fun and uh, yeah it was lovely hanging out with those guys at Disney Park so until next year I'm hoping to get so your big gang of us out next year and do it I would uh, definitely be there I'm hoping I can be there anyway but thank you so much for watching this vlog at Disneyland Paris Pride but yeah hope to see you soon guys if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe it would mean the world and I will see you very soon bye <laughs>